All right, so now that we have a way to actually get to that level, let's go ahead and start building it. The first thing, of course, that we need to do is just put our main character on the screen. So these are the graphics that I have. This is just the bullet that shoots out of his gun. This star ball, that's the thing that's gonna be falling and we're gonna try to shoot it. Now the main character, I put in a folder called shooter.atlas and it's not just a single image, it's actually six different images and you can see that these are actually frames of an animation. So whenever you have um, any animation in your game made up of different images in different frames, you want to stick it inside a folder called Atlas. Now this isn't any, you know, you don't have to make it any special type of way. You just make any folder and name it the name dot Atlas. Now the reason you do this is because dot Atlas, it means something special to Xcode and sprite kit whenever it sees the name dot atlas it knows that the images inside it are grouped together they're part of the same image in some way either frames of an animation or if you have like a huge 2d world they can be part of kind of like a bigger image but what we want to do from here is this take that folder and we're going to want to drag it let me expand this so you guys can see what's going on expand supporter supporting files and just take all of your images and drop them right in supporting files and now just click finish everything is good to go so we now have all of our images right there in a folder called atlas so right now they're just in our xcode project we didn't add them to the screen or anything so actually let me get rid of this and what we want to do here is go to shooter scene dot SKS and zoom out a little bit. Now from here, if it isn't already open, go to your media library. And I'm guessing that you have this open by default. So the media library is, it's just a little icon that looks like a piece of film. I guess that's what it is. And what you're looking for is the very first image, the very first frame, because Whenever the user first opens this level, this is the first image we want to appear. So mine is shooter1.ping and just drag it out somewhere. I don't know, on the left. Looking good, whatever. And I also want to change the background of this. So click anywhere on the scene and I'm just going to make mine white. Everything else kind of annoys me. All right. So anyways, that's just a little nuance. You don't actually have to do that. So select that object again. And from here, what you need to do is go up to the name and we want to give it a name so we can reference it. And I'll just name it shooter node, hit enter. And also what I want to do is I want to scroll down to all right, physics definition right here. Now the physics definition is essentially for collision detection and it's the outline of whatever object you're looking at. Now, if you look right here, it's just a rectangle and that's all right. I mean, that'll be pretty good for collision detection. That's what people do mostly whenever they're making games, but you can also choose alpha mask. Now what it's gonna do, you see that thick blue line, instead of just making it a square, um, based on the height and width, what it does is it actually looks at the alpha value and it's just a really accurate way to quickly get really awesome collision detection. So again, it's all built in. You just have to change it to, where is it again? Alpha mask and it takes care of it for you. Now check this out. The cool thing about this S SKS environment is if you click simulate, watch what happens. It pretty much simulates your game real quick without having to go and running it and launching it in the simulator. So again, you just click it and it just simulates it real quick. Pretty cool feature, but obviously we see that we have a problem with our game. Whenever the game is gonna start, the dude is just gonna drop and fall down like a, I don't know, a never ending world. And that's obviously not what we want. What I want for this game is for this dude to stay in this same location. And then the things that are gonna be moving are those balls. So we're just gonna tap and shoot out our bullet 
and then he obviously can't be like moving around going off the screen. So how do we change that? Well, if you select him again, and then if you scroll back down to physics definition, this is all the gravity and dynamic stuff. What we want to do is pretty much put the opposite of the default. So we actually want pin to be checked and unchecked everything else. So no dynamic, no allow rotation. It's not going to be affected by gravity and it is going to be pinned in the same location. So now if we hit simulate, you can see that it's now staying in the same place. And to verify that, we can actually just run in our simulator. If you don't trust me. And we'll check out our game so far. So we tap to play. Whenever we do, it takes us to that new level. And our dude is there, ready to shoot some crap. Looking good. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to animate this dude.